I've been meaning to make this video for a long time. But uh, as you guys know, some of you may know, I'm actually a sneakerhead. I collect a lot of shoes. Um, I'd go out there and show you right now, but my parents are like somewhat out there. And uh, so anyways, um, so I got these shoes over the summer and they're they're extremely hyped up. Uh, a lot of people like them. I, actually, everyone I know likes them. Uh, there's three colorways of it. There's the, uh, I think it's called it infrared. There's the camo and then there's the, I don't even know what the other one called, but it's black. Um, you guys can probably tell by the title of the video what it is, but, uh, mine are the white ones, and, uh, I've been meaning to make this for a long time, like I said, I've just never really been into it, like, making the video about it, because I've been more in the gaming aspect of recording, because that's just what I primarily do, but I know you guys like the sneaker videos, and me doing tutorials on how to, like, clean and all these other, uh, elaborate things with, uh, shoes, because, you know, I love shoes, but anyways, let me show you guys. So if you can see right here, here's the box. Yes, they are legit too. All right. So I paid about probably about six twenty, six thirty, somewhere around there for them when I got them. Um, now let me give you a little backstory on them. I'm gonna open it up first so you guys can take a good look at them. Nice and cocaine, I swear. But let me give you guys a little. Uh, let me give you guys a little uh, story on this. So. I don't wear these much. I've worn them three times in the past couple months that I've had them. I've had them since, I think, let's see, I got them in May. So I got these in May or June, around there. I think I, I, went, I got them right before I went to VidCon. But, um, so I got these shoes and I wore them once to the mall. I, I only ever wear them all because the mall is really, has really, you know, it's pretty clean in there. And, um, uh, there's a lot of shoe stores and a lot of, you know, hype beast to go there I guess you could say but so I go there I get tons of reactions when I wear and people oh he's got Supremes on oh he's got Supremes on you know people love it and it's you know I think that's the reason why I wear it's because the hype factor but you know I go into different stores you know Champs, Foot Locker, Jimmy Jazz you guys don't know what Jimmy Jazz is because it's a local store um Finish Line and at Finish Line I was actually offered a job there um, they, you know, I walked in there and we were going in there looking in for some shoes for my mom and I was wearing these there and, uh, they said, you know, Hey, how old are you? And I told them that I was, you know, 16. They said, Oh man. I said, what? And they said, Oh, we are going to give you a job here. We we're going to, you know, give you an application to fill out. It looks like, you know, a little bit about shoes. And actually one of the employees there has the camo pair of these, which is pretty cool. And he wanted to trade me with them. But, uh, you know, I really like the white ones a lot more than the camo ones. Cause I can't really match the camo ones as much based on the type of shit I wear. Also, uh, these are my third pair of fives that I have. I, I wear, I have a, what are they called? Pro Star or Poison Fives, whatever you want to call them. Um, I had a pair of Oreo Fives that I got in San Antonio at a pawn shop, and I found out that they were fake, and I didn't really look them over when I got them. I was just like, fuck it, they're a pair of fives. I love fives, and it's the only colorway I don't, or it's one of the colorways I don't have. So I was like, fuck it, let's get it. So I got them, found out they were fake, got home, went, traded them off for some Kobe night and Christmases and then I got some Flint 13s there that I also got in May um but no um so these are my favorite fives just because of how much people other people like seeing them um they're really clean every time I wear them I wash or not wash them but I you know I you know take a little rag to them and wipe them off real gently um very 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 little creases you can barely even notice it right there is like the biggest crease that's all but underneath it's pretty clean there's a couple thing you know a couple dots here and there um it picks up a lot worse on camera how dirty it is but that's just because the way the light hits it you know but it's not bad at all um i'd actually like to revive it a little bit but what am i gonna do i mean it's fine uh if you look on the uh lace lock right there you can see supreme if it focus but I'm not going to spend that much time trying to focus in on it. Uh, in, interior is red. Size 11 and a half. Back of the tongue. Air Jordan Supreme. I refuse to fold down the tongue to show it. Um, I don't want to wear these to school because the people there are really disrespectful to them. Um, everything looks really, really, really good. Um, honestly, I, I really recommend getting these. I know that it's kind of a, comes at an expensive cost. And I totally get that. But, I mean, sometimes you just got to get something that's a little out there that people don't have. Um, that's what I try to go for. I have a couple pairs of shoes that people really like to see. And, I mean, like, 
Huh, I got the Krispy Kreme Kyrie's. That's going to be in another video. I also have the, uh, a pair of, uh, what are they? Um, foam posit, uh, fucking, uh, gone fishings. I got those in California when we went to, uh, we went to Flight Club while we were out there for VidCon. The day before we went to VidCon, I picked up some, uh, what are they? I already told you. The, uh, gone fishings, and they're legit. They come with the fishing and everything. Um, I also love how this box is packaged. It's pretty, it's packaged basically like how you'd expect the Jordan box to be packaged. Like, you know, it comes in with the Jordan box. But I just love the Supreme on it, along with the shoe itself. It just, it's, it's so nice. And I love them so much, but the only bad thing is, is I refuse to wear them ever so often as I want to because just there's some people at, like at my school I'll never wear them there because people step on the back of my heels and people back up their chairs under my feet because I'm a tall kid okay I'm six foot and you know I have to spread my feet out sitting under those small ass desk and people always back their chairs up into my feet so I always have to wear ZX fluxes or something to uh keep it a little bit safe or well just so I don't really care because my ZX fluxes are beat to hell but no uh I refuse to wear these. I don't think I've ever worn them to school, and I refuse to. Um, if there comes a day where I'm just walking around school and no one else is there, then I'll wear them. But not when anyone's there, and there's, you know, there's no chance of that shit happening. But, anyways, guys, um, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, you guys should check out my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook. I'm gonna be uh, posting a little bit more on Facebook. I've been keeping up pretty good with the schedule lately. Like I said, New Year's resolution, trying to keep up with the schedule the whole year long. Um, this video is actually being made on Thursday. I usually get my video content and everything on about Saturday, edit it on Sunday, and uh, get it ready to post up for the weekdays I have it scheduled. But anyways, guys, I uh, hope you guys liked it. Uh, you know, leave comments, likes, subscribe, all that basic ass shit. And I will see you guys later.